I'm Sandy Swallow, and I own the Sandy Swallow Gallery in Hill City, South Dakota. I'm an artist, and I'm also enrolled Okalala, Dakota, in Northern Cheyenne. I like to communicate um, joy and happiness. I, I just feel real strong that um, we need that in our lives that there's a lot of things going on in this world and that we need to focus on what's important. And, uh, and of course, to me, it, the importance is God, family, and uh, friendship. Who inspired me to become an artist was my husband. I always liked to paint and I would do it, but I never felt that I could do anything different or better than anybody else. Well, and I think anybody's reluctant to show their what they've created, but uh, it was to me it was good, and I just kept encouraging her. Very first piece I did was for his birthday, and I sat over the Cheyenne River. We lived out in the country. We had a, a farm ranch. She went actually went out on the Cheyenne River bank and. It was a you know big high bank and the river was down below and she painted that scene there. And I, he encouraged me to take it to the Fall River County Fair and I won a blue ribbon on it. Eventually we hit the circuit, uh, went to a lot of different art shows all over the United States. Uh, she went to Washington DC twice with her paintings at the Capitol. Eventually she got her own gallery and that's where we're at today, so. When we're at the gallery and when we train employees, one of the very first things that we feel is very important is that they greet the person and that they are there to help them or if they have questions on the culture, that they are able to uh, answer those questions. And I would hope that we could create a a bridge for between the Native American population and other other people even you know we have a lot of people from different countries Europe come into the gallery and it's important that we have a hand of friendship quite a percentage of what's at the gallery is Native American made and I I also feel a little bit that I'm helping others on the close reservations in Rapid City because uh, I'm helping their economy by purchasing directly. She's a, really a history buff. She gets into her history and reflects a lot of that into her paintings. Whenever I go to do a piece of work, I do research and I, I want it to be an authentic sort of piece and I want it to be from my heart. And, you know, I, I like to uh, think about my family's stories. I was amazed to find out. I went to a show, it was a reenactment of the Fort Laramie Treaties. Fort Laramie Treaties occurred in 1868. And when I was set up as an artist, a lady walked by and she said, oh, your name's Swallow. And I said, yes. And she said, were you related to Eli Swallow? And I said, as a matter of fact, he was my great grandfather. And she said, well, he, did you know he was here? That was my paternal great grandfather. My maternal great grandfather, his name was Benjamin Buckner Mills. He married Sally Bush Mills. Later, I found out that Sally Bush Mills was also present at Fort Robinson when it when Crazy Horse came in. You know, there's this word Owati. And Owati means the people are the tribe. And I would hope that the Owati would um, un get a deeper understanding of that we are all just people. It doesn't matter what color we are.